So, in the previous lecture, uh, we introduced compactness and we saw that uh, the interval 0 1, the closed interval 0 1 is compact. So, just as in the case of connectedness, we can ask what happens for products or subspaces. So, if x is compact, so what is compactness? behave with taking products or taking subspaces, right. Okay. So, exactly as in the connected case, so if x is connected and y is a subspace, then y need not be connected. Right? For instance, we can take x equal to r and y we can just take is 2 points 0 and 1. Yeah? So, clearly y is just the union of these 2 points. Yeah? So, clearly y is not connected and in the same way, so if x is compact, and y contained in x is a subspace, then y need not be compact. Right? So, we can take x equal to 0 1 and y equal to the open interval 0 1. Okay? So, uh, there is a homeomorphism. from r to 0 1 right and we saw that r is not compact yeah thus the open interval 0 1 since homeomorphism obviously is going to preserve compactness yeah so and we saw that R is not compact, yeah. We explicitly wrote down an open cover which does not have a finite subcover, it's not compact. Yeah. What this homeomorphism is is left as an exercise. Okay. So let's come to products, and that is in the as in connectedness, if x and y are connected topological spaces, we saw that their product is connected. So in the same way, uh, we will prove that if x and y are compact topological spaces, then their product is also compact. Yeah? So, the crucial ingredient for that we need is this lemma which is called the tube lemma. So, let y be a compact topological space. let x be any topological space okay let w contained in x cross y so x, x cross y is obviously always given the product topology be an open set containing x cross y. Yeah. So, then there is an open set u contained in x such that x is in u and u cross y is contained in w. Okay. So, let us make a picture of this lemma and explain what it is saying and why it is called a tube lemma. 
So, this is our x and this is our y, y is compact, right. And here we have this, this is x cross y, yeah. And we have this open set w, w is some open set which contains x cross y. Then what this lemma says is there is a small neighborhood u around x such so that this entire disk around x cross y is contained inside w. It contains this entire tube w contains. So, this region is w and this is u cross y. Okay. So, let us see how to prove this lemma. Proof. So, given any point y in y, there is a basic open set. So, given any point in y and y, so we have the point x comma y which is in x cross y which is contained inside w, right. And w is open in the product topology which implies that implies there exists uh, open sets u y contained in x and v y contained in y such that this x cross x comma y this is in u y cross v y and this is completely contained inside w here. Yeah. So, we are taking any point over here this point is x comma y. So, we are just saying that there is this open neighborhood. So, this is u y and this is v y. So, u y cross v y is contained in w. Okay. So, clearly and this happens for every y. So, thus we can write y as a union of y and y v sub y. Okay. So, since y is compact, this has a finite sub cover. So, we can write y as j equal to 1 to n v y j. We can write this as a finite union, right? Okay. So let u be equal to intersection of the u y j's. So note that each of these u y j's it contains x, right? So therefore u contains x. Each of these u y j's is an open set containing x. We are taking a finite intersection. So therefore u is an open set. such that an open set of x containing an open set in x containing the point x. Okay. So, then u cross 
v y i is contained in u y i cross v y i which is contained in w and this happens for all i so this implies that union i equal to 1 to n u cross v y i is contained in w but this union is simply u cross union i equal to 1 to n v y i which is contained in w but the union of the v i i is simply y is contained in w okay so this completes the proof of the law Okay, so using this lemma, which is the crucial ingredient, let us prove uh, the theorem. Our next theorem. Uh, let x and y be compact topological spaces. Then the product. x times y is compact. Okay, so let's prove this. Now, suppose we are given an open cover. Be an open cover. Okay, so then fix an x in x yeah uh, so then we have x cross y which is contained in x cross y right so as x cross y so note that consider the map Consider the map y to x cross y, which sends y to x comma y. Right. So this map is bijection. Factors through x cross y, and this has a, this subspace topology. So, uh, it is easy to check. So, the map from y to x cross y is obviously continuous because the image of y, so let us call this uh, f, let us call this f sub 0, and let us call this i, yeah. That F sub zero is a homeomorphism. Okay, yeah. So uh, this shows that x cross y is compact. Right, and now so we can write x cross y is equal to union i in i intersected w i right and since x cross y is compact this implies that this has a finite subcover right which implies that this x cross y is actually contained in some finite set W i j. Okay. Okay. So, by the previous lemma, so let's this finite subcover. Let's write this as union i sub x contained in i. 
और राधा आई इन आई सब एक्स आई डब्ल्यू आई या सो वी सो एक्स क्रॉस वाई इज कंटेन इन फाइनेट सब कवर वी जस्ट कलेक्ट द इंडिसीज इन दैट सब कवर एंड पुट इट इन टू द सेट आई सब एक्स या सो हियर इज ए फाइनेट सेट So now, uh, by the previous lemma, there is an open neighborhood. U sub x of x in x such that. So what did the previous lemma say? So let's look at the previous lemma. so y is compact and if x cross y is contained in w then there is a small neighborhood u of x such that u cross y is also contained in w so we will use that yeah such that u sub x cross y is contained in union wi okay now this can be done for every x in x right so thus when we do this we get an open cover of x u sub x now again as x is compact this has a finite sub cover so we can write x as u x sub g okay yeah so uh, then x is equal to i'm sorry x cross y union u sub x x j cross y which is contained in is going from 1 to n each of these is contained in this indexing set wi right and now the index set is finite yeah so each as each i sub xj is a finite set subset of i this implies so let me just this is equal to union uh, i in 1 to n w i this index set is finite right so uh, thus x cross y so thus we have found a finite sub cover a finite sub cover for x cross y right so this this sub cover is finite because this index set over here that's a finite index set so this completes the proof of this here right so
So, as a corollary of this, we see that the closed interval 0 1, I mean when we take product of it n times is compact. Okay. So, next, next uh, let us make some observations about compactness. So, proposition uh, a closed subspace of a compact space is compact. Okay. So, let us prove this. So, let y contain in x be closed and suppose that x is compact. Right. So, our aim is to show that y is compact. So, we will what we what we have to show is given any open cover for y, it has a finite sub cover. So, given any open cover for y, we will construct an open cover for x and from that we will deduce that y is compact. So, let y be equal to union i in i w i be an open cover for y. So, uh, since y has a subspace topology, so thus there exists u i containing x open such that each w i is equal to y intersection u i. Right? So, this implies that y is contained in u i, y is contained in this collection of open sets, this is open in x. Right? So, Suppose this is our x and let us say this is our y. So, first we are given an open cover for y, right. This we extend to an open cover for x. I am sorry, we cover this like this. We find open subsets, we find a collection of open subsets in x such so that their union contains y. Right. And now, since y is closed, we may write closed in x, we have x minus y is open in x. Right. So, this region is open. Right. So, we can write, we may write x as x minus y uh, disjoint union y, but this containing x minus y union u i. Right. Yeah. So, this is open in x and each of these is open in x. Right. So, x is contained in this and all these are of course contained in x. So, this implies that we have gotten an open cover for x. Since x is compact, this has a finite subcover. So, let us say the finite subcover looks like this. Right. I mean, this may or may not be present, but there is no harm in throwing it in, throwing an extra open subset into it. So, now intersecting both sides with y, we get y is equal to this is this, this is empty, y intersected with x minus y is empty, we simply get the 
j is equal to w i j. Yeah. So, thus the open cover we started with has a finite sub cover. So, this proves that y is compact. So, we will end this lecture here and in the next lecture we shall show that a closed subspace of Rn is compact if and only if it is closed in boundary.